how to install 3JS. We're going to start from nothing and set up a 3JS project installing 3JS using VS Code. As the guide for today's discussion is the installation steps on the 3JS website. First thing we'll do is on the desktop, Shift Apple N, or Shift Command N rather, and create a folder and let's name it My 3 Project. So now I want to open VS Code. Boom. And I've got no folder open, so I'm just going to open a folder, navigate to the desktop, and choose My 3 Project. Ta da! It's empty right now. I want you to come down to the bottom of VS Code and hover over that status bar at the bottom, and you'll see your cursor turn into a, an arrow, an up arrow, and you can drag up to reveal the terminal. I think another way to do that is to go to View, Terminal. And you can even, it looks like you can toggle it. All right, so I'm toggling that terminal with Control and that tilde key. Alternately, just come up to View and click on Terminal. Now this is really handy to have this little terminal here. And let me show you why. We can do things like type touch index.html and that creates a new file, an empty file, which we can copy this markup from the 3JS website and paste it in here. Ta-da! Um, also, touch main.js. Open that up and also copy and paste this business in here, like so. The guide suggests creating a public folder. So let's do that. Public. There it is. It's empty, but apparently it, maybe some files will be built to there. I'm not sure. Um, how do we run this in a browser? Well, to do that, we're going to install Vite build tool, and it's going to allow us to do live reloading. Every time we make a change to the project, it'll automatically reload in the browser, making development fast and easy and awesome. We're going to use Yarn as a package manager. You could also use NPM, but let's just try Yarn. Yarn add three. And we've got a new directory here, this node modules, and we've also got two new files, package.json and yarn lock. For our purposes, you can disregard these directories, but this is just a list of the packages installed. I should say the main packages installed because as you'll see, as we yarn add vite, we're, we're gonna get another dependency here, but a lot more node modules. Command K to clear the terminal. Now type npx vite, and that's gonna run vite. I'm holding down the command key click that link to open it in the browser. There are no errors, and there's also nothing in the three scene. Let's create something. The first thing I want to do is say const w equals window dot inner, no, window dot inner width, and h equals window dot inner height. Now I'm going to create a scene, const scene. I was, ex I was waiting for GitHub Copilot to catch up with me. The camera, I think that's good. It's hard to tell. Yes, that's good. I'll make this 100, though. Uh, I'm going to create a new renderer and then set its size and add it to the DOM, add its DOM element, which is just a canvas. You don't believe me? Let's, ha let's have a look. And we'll see we now have a canvas here. That's that DOM element. Yip, yippee. Let's render. And we have black, um, but I can prove to you that we are actually rendering scene.background equals a new color, and let's make it blue. Or make it whatever color this is gonna be, some sort of orange or green. Oh, I left out a couple of zeros. Um, I'm gonna delete that line. Save. Now it's black again. 
Let's add something to our scene. It'll be a little bit more interesting. We'll create a box geometry and a, a mesh basic material. Mesh basic materials don't care about lights. They just give you color. And create a mesh called cube and add it to the scene. And save it, and it's not there. Um, why not? It could be a couple of reasons. It could be that uh, it's not in front of the camera. It could be that there's no lights in the scene, or it could be that we haven't added the mesh to the scene. In this case, I've added it to the scene. We don't care about lights, so it's the camera. Let's move the camera back. Camera dot position dot Z equals five. And there's our beautiful cube. Let's animate it. Function animate. And thank you, GitHub Copilot. Let me just call that animate method. And there you go. That's basically it. If you wanted to try a uh, standard material, um, you'll see it disappears because standard materials need lights. Uh, const, I like hemisphere lights. Hem sorry, excuse me, I'm challenged by this keyboard. There's a hemisphere light and add it to this. Oh, I don't care about that. I just want to add it to the scene. And there's that. By the way, you can make this this cube bigger. I could either set the scale here or just instantiate it in a bigger dot set scalar and then make it twice as big. Cool, right? That's how you install three using Visual Studio Code. Have fun coding and uh, leave a comment ask a question below. I'd love to hear from you. Um, like and subscribe, tell your friends, share this, uh, anything. It helps build my, my YouTube channel. Um, also consider supporting me over on, on Patreon. I love making these and it really helps. Thanks so much. See you next time.